All right, so let me switch to Matic. Uh, let's give you a couple of altcoins just uh, for sake. Uh, all right, cool. Um, so let's keep going with this. Just give you a couple of altcoins. So Matic, I think I did a bit of analysis last week. Uh, I had a target here um, on the break from this um, uh, this downtrend uh, from let's say the one twenty five. We retested the one dollar lows. I was kind of looking at breakthrough from that point, which we did end up seeing. So we saw this breakthrough and about 3% gain from the uh, 107. I think Matic has been trending, if we zoom a little bit more out, has been trending in this range in between 125 and $1 for quite a while. And we did something similar here where we tra traded in between July, and I think all the way to January, in between the 75 and uh, $1. And now we're kind of in this zone as well. We retested some of the lows and now we're trading in the zone. So it's not unlikely that we'll keep doing that. And then if we do come down from this point following Bitcoin, our you know, next level would be the $1 level, which is also a psychological level and a strong support area for, for Matic. Um, I'm going to do a couple of more and then let's conclude the call for today. So Nier is one of the ones we looked at multiple times in the previous cycle as well. This one, again, here, I, last week I traced this you know, downtrend line looking for a breakthrough. Not didn't really happen. And the support for Nier is still at 181, which is about 20% below from here. Um, so if you look at where we're at today and you look at support, so it's 10% and then we got 20% to long-term support. So if Bitcoin was to break lower, this is kind of the area we're looking for. Um, let me look at some interesting ones. So Ada Cardano, this has actually been performing quite well and it's now hitting this resistant level. You can clearly see resistance here is marked by the um, 200 days moving average that's been acting as resistant previously in mid-February and is now doing that again. And then we have this very strong support area at about 30 cents. So now where do we go from here? Well, a couple of things we can do is we got our Fibonacci levels here. So if we look at the 38 level, uh, so we do have kind of a support zone at around this level. You can see here, so if we trace the line, it's probably a bit more visible. So if we trace this line, you can see here. And then if I add a little bit more points, you can see one um, kind of like two points when you turn into the resistance, a third point here into resistance, support again. And then we wobbled back through it and there was another support point here. So if Cardano was to come back, and I think that's likely following Bitcoin, you know, based purely based on you know similar uh coins and similar analysis, I would expect this to be another, you know, about 10%. And yeah, that's pretty spot on. So there you go, that's another 10% down. So exactly 10.5 so that's what i would expect and honestly i'm kind of expecting that from most style coins if we are to retrace some of them have been performing slightly worse um and then just for the sake given that we talked about it let's just take a quick look at doge and then i'll let you guys go for today but um so let's look at doge usdt on crypto so there you go so doge clearly big spike here big rejection um, I do expect this to come down and retrace. Uh, you know, when we see this big moves, we always have a fairly uh, come fairly serious retrace. We've seen that as a resistance level, and it's around uh, the ten cents. So that also makes sense. Um, if we look at support zones for Doge, it's quite clear here as well. We got that um, sixty eight seventy cents as a support zone. Now, if you look at the Fibonacci levels from bottom to top. Then we're looking at the 61, which is, yeah, I think it's also one of the previous, um, kind of matches fairly well, one of the previous resistance and supports. I'm going to mark this as well. So you got, you got resistance here. We kind of turn it into resistance here again, broke down that support here, support here, and support here. So if we do see Doge coming back down, we would probably get another, you know, 15%, 16%. Uh, down to the about 80 cents zone um, there will be a full retrace you know if we're looking at just the recent bump and okay, the most most likely retrace we're probably looking at the 90 cents uh, i would say it's so about 10 percent down from now it's very likely that you know dodge will now retrace it's just based on news and most of these news-based moves they don't they're not really non-lived uh, at the current time 
Um, so I think, yeah, this is it for uh, what, I, what I wanted to do for today for TA. Is it something you want to add? Otherwise, I think we can uh, close it here and then uh, we can, you know, forward everybody to the website. Don't forget to go and check out the newsletter. There's plenty of precious material there. And definitely come around and ask us any questions on our channels. Yeah, yeah, nothing to add, to be honest. Uh, we're probably going to do uh, a small video breaking down the newsletter as well. So stay tuned and subscribe to YouTube if you didn't do it already. And that's it. All right, fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. See you soon.